Hello, I'm Martin. Uh, I'm a long-time desktop Linux user and developer. Uh, I'm new here. This is my first NixCon. And I'm going to be talking about blending NixOS with Flatpak. And if you're not aware, Flatpak is a containerized application format originally spawned out of the Fedora community, growing in popularity and particularly well-suited to desktop applications. So I should probably, oh, hello, how do I change the slide? I can't see it. Maybe I'll just do that. There we go. So why am I doing this? So some history. In 2006, I gave my family and friends an ultimatum. If you want, want to continue to get tech support from me, you have to run Linux. And they agreed. Um, so that started with Ubuntu uh, 606 running GNOME 2, and we had a good six-year streak of no significant problems. They were very happy with the GNOME 2 user interface. Uh, then in 2012, the Unity desktop from Canonical was um, the default in Ubuntu, and GNOME was taking a new direction with the GNOME 3 shell. And that was utterly rejected by my friends and family, most distinctly by my wife. So, in 2012, I became a Mate desktop core developer. A Mate desktop is the continuation of GNOME 2. And marital bliss was restored. But also at that time, I was an Arch Linux developer, by the way, and I was running this solution on Arch Linux at that time. And Arch Linux as a platform, family and friends, was not great. So in 2014, I created Ubuntu Mate. In 2015, that became an official uh, Ubuntu flavor. And Entroware, who is a boutique uh, Linux vendor of workstations and laptops, took Ubuntu Mate on as one of their official factory OEM images. And I made the software boutique for Ubuntu Mate in 2016, which is a virtual me, so my friends and family can easily install the applications they need without having to phone me to get their computer to do the thing it wanted to do. And I had achieved tech support nirvana. And it went like this. My mum needed a new computer. I sent her to the Entraware website. She ordered a computer with Ubuntu Mate pre-installed, an operating system I had designed for her. When it arrived, she turned it on, and the software boutique starts, she clicks some shiny buttons, she gets the software she needs, and she didn't have to phone me. It was brilliant. So, we roll on to the present day. Here is the problem. I want to migrate my friends and family to NixOS, <laughs> and they are not Linux experts. The other problem is, they are not Linux experts, but they have found ingenious ways to break traditional desktops. And here is a small plug. I do a podcast with my friends called Linux Matters. You can find us at linuxmatters.sh. If you like a bit of Linux, we invite you to come and have a listen. In episode five, a friend of mine posited that immutable desktops were the right, uh, sorry, immutable Linux was the right desktop for novice Linux users because it was an on-rails, safe environment. They couldn't screw it up. And in episode seven, I gave an introduction to what I'm presenting here today. So, in that episode, I called it that, the impure abomination. But actually, I think it's the best of both worlds, and I'll explain why. But first, I needed to do some research. Does it even work? Does Flatpak work on NixOS? What desktop environment should I use? How am I going to expose the FlatHub store, the app center, effectively, the app store for Flatpak? Um, how am I going to do remote support? And how am I going to manage NixOS updates? So, the first one was very easy. Fl Flatpak works extremely well on NixOS. That's all you need to do. Um, you just enable it, and uh, that systemd unit uh, enables the FlatHub repository, which is sort of the de facto um, repository for all of the apps. So, the desktop. Um, I'm still a Mate core dev. But I chose to go with um, Pantheon, which is made by a friend of mine, Danielle Foray. Uh, she created the project and leads it today. Um, the defaults for the Pantheon desktop are not to my liking. We politely disagree on how it should be configured by default. Um, but the NixOS options for Pantheon desktop um, are excellent. You can really express a, a bespoke configuration. So, and it's familiar. Some of my family are using macOS for audio production. It's a very Mac OS-like experience. So, this is what I learned from my colleague, Anna. I learned about deconf configuration in a home manager module to give the defaults that I think are sane. Uh, I used the elementary app center. Here it is here. This is a Flatpak compatible app store interface. And you get two app stores, Flathub 
and Elementary's own app center. So you get thousands of applications. I'm using Xero tier for remote support. So every device, my friends and family, I can immediately connect to. And it also turns out App Image works really well on Nix OS 2. Um, there's a lot of assumptions, dangerous assumptions, made by App Image. But whoever made the App Image run closure in Nix OS did a fantastic job of analyzing all of the assumptions that App Image makes and solving them. So App Image is the best platform, or rather, NixOS is the best platform for running App Images, in my opinion. So I also learned Flatpak really complements Nix packages. And here's some examples. RetroDeck is a retro gaming all-in-one platform published by the upstream as a Flatpak only. Um, I can now use that. Uh, Wavebox is in Nix packages. It segfaults on start. I don't know why, but why I'm figuring out why, I'm using the flat pack of Wavebox. Shotcut in Nix packages is ancient. It's 24 releases behind upstream, and it segfaults as soon as you copy a video into the timeline. I'm using the upstream published app image to work around that at the moment. And Atom is a proprietary application for integrating the Twitch API into ABS. They only uh, publish that as an app image, but on NixOS, I have access to all of that. So as NixOS users, we're spoiled for choice now. There is, there is no gaps in our app selection. So my conclusions are, NixOS is the on-rails base. Um, it's excellent. Flatpak provides app isolation and user agency. Choose your own adventure. What applications do you want? And it only took me a few weeks to build this, as opposed to years when I was using Ubuntu. Uh, the customized pantheon is excellent, but the customizations, in my opinion, are essential. Uh, the App Center App Store from Elementary is brilliant. You get two app stores for the price of one, and there's thousands of apps available. Zero tier for remote um, support is exquisite. And Flatpak is, in my opinion, a valuable complement to uh, Nix packages, and AppImage is also good. So where next? Uh, I haven't fully solved the Nix OS automatic updates. But I'm going to make a flake for that. Remote desktop deployment using Disco. There's a talk about that tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. And then G-Schema provides for my vendor defaults. Thank you for listening. Oh, and that's my config there. So if you want to have a look at this, go and take a look. <laughs>